G'day, welcome to Partakers Wednesday Worship on the 3rd of August 2011. Let's start today with this prayer of thanksgiving and joy. O Almighty God, great and wonderful are you. We praise you God the Father that you care for us. We praise you God the Son Jesus Christ that you are our Saviour and Mediator. We praise you, God the Holy Spirit, that you live inside us as a deposit and a seal of our salvation. We praise you, Holy Trinity, Father, Son and Spirit, that you are the very givers of life. We come now to worship you. Amen. We come now to a time where we confess our sins. The Apostle John writes in 1 John 1, verse 8 to 10. If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. Let's now have a short time of silence to reflect upon our lives and then we will say a general confession together. Heavenly Father, you have loved us with an everlasting love, but we have gone our own way and broken your laws. We are sorry for our sins and we turn away from them. For the sake of your Son who died for us, forgive us, cleanse us and change us. By your Holy Spirit, enable us to live for you and to please you more and more. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll now have our Bible readings. Our Old Testament reading is from Psalm 119 and verse 76. May your unfailing love be my comfort, according to your promise to your servant. Our New Testament reading is from Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. <laughs> Just when you are thinking about giving up, you've tasted your last sip of life's bitter cup. You can't find a friend to understand or care. If you'll just look up, you'll find Jesus standing there. Here comes Jesus walking on the water. Here comes Jesus, he's calling the storm. Here comes Jesus. Making life peaceful Here comes Jesus bringing everything back to normal Now like a roaring lion roaming to and fro Satan is killing and stealing as he goes Everything God gave us through Jesus his son But two thousand years ago the victory was won Here comes Jesus, he's walking on the water Oh, here comes Jesus, calm the storm. Here comes Jesus, making life peaceful. Here comes Jesus, bringing everything back to normal. Jesus is bringing everything back to normal. 
I wonder if you have ever felt like God is far away. Well, you aren't alone. It's an experience that is common to all Christians at some point or another. I know I have experienced that feeling. But I also know from personal experience that Jesus Christ always comes through in difficult times. Although he may not come in the time I think he should, because he knows when I need him most. Jesus Christ is calling you to himself. He wants you to be a partaker of the good news about him. He wants you to be part of his family, the church. He is ever calling, ever beckoning people to enter into relationship with him. His love for the church is indicative as he calls his beloved church, his beautiful bride. That is the church, warts and all. It's his bride. By faith he will see you through. Remember in the Gospels when the disciples were in the storm and Jesus came to them walking on the water? Remember Jesus saying, Come! And Peter went to him. This must have encouraged the other disciples, for upon seeing Jesus' power they worshipped him. Whatever troubles you are undergoing are temporary, and Jesus will see you through. I also know that to be true. God himself assists as we pray by correcting and strengthening our desires and yearnings. Prayers express desires, uh, praises and thoughts in a contributory way to the journey we are on. That means telling Jesus how you're feeling, both in the good and the hard times. Tell him of your wants, your needs, your cares, that his arms surround you. To him your voice is sweet and dulcet. Your face to him is a delight. Seek him, ask him, talk to him. This is how you are spiritually energized. When you talk to God, you strengthen your relationship with him. And when we ask others to pray for us, church unity is strengthened. Jesus feeds, nourishes, protects and shelters his church and all its members. Jesus loves his people, the church. And one day Jesus is coming back for his church. We don't know when that will be, but we are to encourage one another and spur one another on as we see the day approaching when our bridegroom, Jesus Christ, comes again in glory. Jesus Christ, the great lover and bridegroom, loves to hear our voices, the voices of his church, the bride, as we express our love, gratitude, cares, worries and feelings to him. Jesus feeds, nourishes, protects and shelters his church and all its members. Jesus loves his people, the church. And one day Jesus is coming back for his church. We don't know when that will be, but we are to encourage one another and spur one another on as we see the day approaching when our bridegroom, Jesus Christ, comes again in glory. Jesus Christ, the great lover and bridegroom, loves to hear our voices, the voices of his church, the bride, as we express our love, gratitude, cares, worries and feelings to him. Go and be a voice of encouragement to somebody today. We all need encouragement at times, and if you go and encourage somebody else, you may just be helping them out. Thank you. We continue in prayer. Holy and loving God, open our eyes to see you. Open our minds to trust you. Open our hearts to love you, this day and forever. As we go now, may we trust and love you each moment. Showing this trust and love to others by being shining lights in darkness and gleaming mirrors of your love, power, majesty and glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, whom we trust for salvation, in the power of the Holy Spirit, whom we trust to transform us. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. 
Praise Him above ye and the host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. See you next time on Partakers.